Just give me a sexy bra for my big boobs, man. That's all I want. Honestly, it feels pretty comfortable to be under like bright lights in my underwear. I totally just texted my husband and he said, hubba hubba. I feel embarrassed. <laughs> it's really bright. <laughs> I'm sure you could see every dimple. This is the video that I've been waiting for. I'm a little nervous today, I'm not gonna lie. You're on a film set, you have a lot of people looking at you and it's like, oh, okay, here we are. I feel horrified. Cynthia and lingerie just don't mix. Sunday is my birthday, and I am doing this as a bucket list. I think women wear lingerie to like entice and be like, hello, come into my boudoir. I think that a lot of women wear lingerie to like impress the men they're seeing. My partner can get the benefit from it, but I'm wearing it for me. It's almost like a ritual for me when I actually put something on that fits me and makes me feel sexy and beautiful. It's my way of like praising myself and thanking myself for just existing and being in this body. My sexy time underwear are like not that different than my everyday. I tend to wear sets. I have a million sets. There is nary a one in my drawer that matches each other. I prefer dramatic lingerie. I like to show a lot of skin. I love like little sports bras. That's usually my jam. I feel the most sexy when I'm in lingerie that I can move in, that I can sweat in, and I can be the most active version of me. Maybe like four years ago, I decided I was like, I am going to have all matching underwear. I picked out my correct size. I picked out my, my ideal panty and just bought like 20 of them. And I'm so glad I did it. Uh, my actual bra size is a 28E, which isn't available in most stores. So my sister size is a 32C, which I buy regularly, but it doesn't just fit quite right usually. I still don't know what my bra size is. I'm either a B, a C, a D. In this bra, surprise, I'm a 34G, which is like a crazy number. I do have a very small bust and it's hard to find a size that's under a 30 something A. One boob, this one, is definitely bigger. <laughs> than this one. So I always get that cleave, that massive cl half cleavage where it's like, it's like really great. And then like this one's like Meh. I like bras that, um, you know, give it a little push up because you know, you want them to sit nice. I prefer a bra with as little padding as possible. But with every bra I've ever had, the straps always fall off my shoulders. So I have to buy racer backs and then you can see the straps and like, literally every single shirt that exists on the planet. Not every brand will offer something cute, sexy, and you know, still in your size, like, you know, above a 38. I have to get a lot of my bras custom. And even then, it's like tight and I feel constricted. I have a full bust and the options are fully like, here's a whole napkin and like a strap that is fully a belt. I've never had a bralette. This is the first one I've worn. Most brands don't make proper plus size bralettes. Up until like a year ago, they really didn't make bralettes in my size, let alone thinking that bralettes were for me because I only saw them on smaller sized girls. Some of my biggest challenges when I'm looking for underwear is whether it's gonna give me that involuntary muffin top because sometimes I feel like the like the trimming right on top, it just cuts into you too much. I have is issues with lingerie with kind of the bands around the underwear because um, I have really thick thighs and they kind of like dig in. A lot of the times it will fit my waist, but will cut off circulation in my ass. Boy shorts don't do the jam that they're supposed to do. And thongs go too far in there. Let's get real. When you got big cheeks, you just eat everything. So that's an issue. I have a long torso, so usually I get something that's low-waisted, but this high waist is pretty, pretty great. I actually really hate high-waisted underwear because I always like feel like my best assets are like my hip bones and the muscles that I've worked to like build my abs. And if I'm wearing high-waisted underwear, you can't see any of that. Uh, I usually look for something that fits my stomach, holds it all in a little bit. I am a weird big girl. I do not like my underwear to go over my belly. It feels weird. The most I ever spent on bras and underwear would have to be maybe like 80 or $90. I spent like 60 bucks a bra. That's a lot of money. I guess like 120, 
I guess my boyfriend's gonna find out now. <laughs> I spent like $150 on a Victoria's Secret like one piece like negligee thing. I refuse to spend more than 50 bucks. I spent $200. Since I get a lot of my stuff custom made, I have spent $300 on a bra and a panty set. I am snotty about cheap lingerie. I don't want it in my house. It's good for a one-time use or two-time use. I have so much cheap lingerie that I wear like whenever I know like sexy time is gonna happen. If you're looking for a fun party bra, go to like, I don't know, one of those like $5 stores. But if you want your everyday basic bra, I think you should splurge. At this point in my life, cheap lingerie is not worth it. All day you're gonna be itching and pulling. And you have the cheap bras that'll cut into your skin and create that kind of roll or doesn't offer you any support. You do have to be careful with buying cheap lingerie because the material will rip when it goes over this butt. When I think of a lingerie model, at first, when I was younger, I thought hungry. They had to be hungry. They were so small and tiny. The tall, beautiful, like Brazilian women. Five nine, big boobs, tiny waist, super tall, super skinny. I think of a tall woman with skeletal frame and boobs who gets to walk a catwalk. There was a time where I avoided lingerie, um, specifically because I was too big to fit the store that I wanted to initially buy them at. I wasn't per se intimidated by lingerie stores. It wasn't something where I was like, ooh, you know, uh, this is too sexy. It, it's more like, oh, I know that I'm not wanted because they don't sell my size. And if I go in there, I'm just gonna end up smelling some fragrances and, you know, picking out like a hair tie or something. I'm speechless when it comes to the amount of lingerie that is available now in my size. I'm an aspiring lingerie model because I grew up being told that this body was wrong. So the moment that I realized this body is right, it's been my mission to put it out there. And I love lingerie, I feel sexy in lingerie. Whoever a person is, is wearing lingerie is a lingerie model. I think good, beautiful lingerie can definitely make you feel good about yourself. If everything fits right, and I feel like I really look most like myself. I love this, I would actually buy this myself. I wish I could just walk outside, I would wear this outside. I was very nervous to come here to do this shoot. I had no idea what to expect, but being here today, I feel sexy, I feel beautiful. Mission accomplished. Today I'm gonna be sexy, I'm gonna do my thing, I'm gonna be hot. This experience wasn't as terrifying as I thought it would be. It's actually quite liberating. I mainly wear lingerie for myself. Now I'm doing it in front of the world. Hello world.